Now before we take any of the bearings out, what we want to do is get everything real clean so that there's uh, so that no crud goes in. And, and the way that these bearings are, there's an inner race and it just pops right out. <coughs> Can you see in there with the camera how the bearings mm -hmm. are? Okay, those are all loose needles in there. And the needles will come right out. You don't want to take them out, but just for the purposes of education, we'll kind of pop them loose. Okay, can you see, can you see the yes. loose, loose needle there? So the needles get loose, and you don't want any of the needles to fall out, but you want to pack this bearing. So the best way to do that is just to get your finger, let me get the needles back in here. Or stuff the camera. Right. So with your finger fairly clean, you get a little blob of grease, and you want to get it in there and press it into the bearings. You want to try to press it in there so that you don't knock them out. If you knock them out, they're kind of a pain in the butt to get back in. You got to get them all in. So put a good coating of grease in there. Okay, so that's a nice, nice fresh coat of grease, and then you want to push the grease into the bearings all the way around. All right, and then we take the, the race and slip it back in there, and if all goes well, none of the bearings will come out. If they come out, you have to take the race back out and do it again. All right, so that worked well, and that bearing feels very nice. So we'll go ahead and do the other one, so you can turn it off. All right, when I did the second one, the, um, when I pressed the race in, the bearing, one of the, one of the needles came out. So one way to get the needles back in is to just take a, a small screwdriver and you can position it in there. So there it is. Make sure it has plenty of grease on it and push the race back in again. Okay, and that time. Now, on the link, this bearing is identical to the ones in the short links, but you can see that the bearings at the other ends are larger, and this is not the same bearing at this end, and you can see, I don't know if you can see, it's a double bearing. Mm -hmm. Can you see in there? Yep. Okay, and it's the same with the one at the small end. The one at the small end uses two of the same bearings that we already greased, so this one is also a double bearing. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right, with the double bearing, we're going to have to be sure that we get in from each end and we need to make sure that all the needles are seated because it's possible when you push the inner race through that you'll knock a bearing into the gap. You'll knock a needle into the gap between the two bearings. So we want to be real careful how we do this. I don't know if you can see, there's some, some of the old grease is coming out on my finger. That's fine. Get plenty of new grease in there and then we'll spin the bearing around. All right, so that's got plenty of grease. Now we'll push this in. Okay, there's no, there's no needles in there. And we can spin this around to make sure that everything gets greased up real well. Do the same with the other end. Okay, now we're going to do the swing arm bearings. These are a little trickier. When you push this out, there's these two little felt seals. We actually lube the bearings the same way, but remove the felt seals and we'll lube the bearings the same way and then we'll push one felt seal in and push the race back in. So you can see the bearings in there. We're going to just go ahead and lube them the same way. All right. So we've got the bearing greased. I'm going to push the felt seal in. Hopefully it'll stay. And the, the race has a lip on it. The lip goes to the inside. The lips face the shock. So we're going to push this in. 
and then it pushes some grease out the other end. I'm going to wipe off that grease. You can see there's some old grease mixed in with the new. And then we're going to take this other felt seal and press it into the recess there. Uh, this is where it gets a little tricky. It's all got to stay in there or it's very hard to get the swing arm back in. So with both, both of those seals flush, this half is done and then we'll do the other half. Alright, so we're going to put the felt seal in on this side and uh, push the race through and it pushes out a bunch of grease. So we'll wipe the grease off and then put the seal in the other side. This is where it's a little tricky. You can see it's kind of burping out some grease there. Okay, so the seal's in both sides and the race is in. So we've greased all the bearings and we're ready to start to put it back together.